Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm so glad you're joining me again today. We are again going to work with the bloom technique. I'm getting better at it, I'm getting happier. I'm gonna make a few changes in my color palette, a little bit cha change in how I put the colors down to see if I get a better result. But we are really doing much better. Our last one, uh, the webbing was just beautiful. So again, we've got our house paint for the base. I'm just gonna go through the colors as I go. I don't have the containers for most of them here. So we start with our house paint base. This is a bare interior, exterior, high gloss house paint. And it has a little GAC 800 and water added. Um, not a lot, just a little, but a little bit added to thin it and to help prevent cracking. You don't want to get too much. Put that. Spread that a little bit. Make sure that's sort of even. All right. Nice base coat. Next, we're going to put our colors on. Our first color is going to be Liquitech Basics Turquoise Blue. Now the change I'm going to make is I'm sort of spreading the colors around on top of each other and instead of putting them all into the center and letting it go out like a bullseye ring. So we're going to let the bullseye happen this time. All right, this is our Tezza um, Pearl Amethyst Purple. Next, I have U.S. Art Supply in Magic Aqua Violet Iridescent. Next, we have Artist Loft Neon Pink. I have Folk Art Metallic Royal Gold. And our final color is US Art Supply. And if I remember correctly, this is the Violent Interference Pearl. If I'm wrong, it is the Gold Interference Pearl. Okay, so let me pause you a second to move those out of the way and then we'll put on our cell activator and we'll be ready to blow. Okay, we're back. We're gonna put on our cell act activator. This is um, Amsterdam Titanium White with our cell activator mix. I will put that information down in the drop down box. ready to blow. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Spread that white out a little bit more. And it's starting to react. Hopefully we'll get more. getting enough reaction in a lot of places. Hmm. All right, we're gonna let it sit a minute. Let me pause you a sec and I'm gonna let it sit a minute and then we'll spin. Okay, I'm gonna spin it a bit and then I may blow some more once I thin it out a bit. Really loving this over here. Tilt the thing in slowly back that way. So I save more 
of this. I want to spin it all off because this is so pretty right here. But I want to stretch out that center. spin again. You might get a little more to pull over on these sides here. So I'm really liking what's going on here. I'm tilting just a little to try and pull the sections that I like a little more towards the center. Trying to stretch it more. I'm loving this right here. I just wish this would open up a little more. But I'll be happy enough if it doesn't. Okay, I think that's about as good as that's going to get. All right. Let me bring you down for a closer look. Okay, I've taken it off the spinner. I'll bring you down. The colors are beautiful. I love this little section right here. The bright color and that little vein going through it. And this with the gold edging on everything is so awesome. And our center that just didn't want to fan out as much as I hoped and stretch. But still, some beautiful little cells in there. Little bursts of color. In this corner that just didn't want to do anything. I love this little blue cell that just popped out in the middle of nowhere. So pretty. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Tried to make that one quick. Have a wonderful day, and I'll take some pictures once this dries. Hi everybody, I'm going to throw another real quick bloom on. I tried a teeny weeny little 4x4 in these colors and it came out so gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure I have enough paint, so I'm filming just in case I do. And if I don't, well, let's give it a go again. So this is our base paint. This is the one I don't know if I have enough of. This is, woo. See if we take that off. We can get more out of here easily. We are literally down to the last of the house paint that I have made up. So this is our white house paint with a little GAC 800 and a little water. All right, hold on, folks. Okay, I made up a little more base paint really quick, bringing you back. So I've already put that on. So this is U.S. Art Supply Magic Aqua Violet Iridescent. Next color is our Artist Loft Neon Pink. Next is Folk Art Metallic Royal Gold. And we have our cell activator, which is made with Amsterdam Titanium White. Good enough, but not too much. All right, and we're going to get our hair dryer going. So it's going to get a little noisy. We're going to try blowing this out.
Well, let's see. Not sure that flew really well. Let's give it a second to see what happens. Got a big puddle here. That's gonna make it better or worse, but we'll give it a shot. It is so gorgeous right in here. Sometimes it always blows. That's the first direction I blew, and that got the best look. And the rest always seems to not do as well. We're gonna let it sit a minute. Let the cells form. You can see it's forming more and more over here. A little bit over here, but not quite as much. So we'll give it a minute to see what comes up. Just so many big puddles here. Break them up a little. Get rid of a lot of that extra. See right here where I got rid of most of the extra, it's starting to sell up. It's getting better, getting better. Let it sit for a little bit longer. See what else comes up. You don't wanna rush these. You gotta give it time to react. Hang in there a minute while I let it sit. Okay, we're gonna start spinning this a bit. Let a little bit come up and see what happens. love this over here. This is sort of, yeah. Trying to get this to stretch some. It's not really wanting to. So let's see if I can tilt it this way just a little without messing it up. Because this end looks so much prettier than that end. If I can get rid of some of the parts I don't like as much and stretch the stuff I do, I almost feel like adding a little something like here and here and there. I'm almost afraid it'll mess it up though if I do. I don't think I made my initial circle big enough. All right, we're gonna play. Fine. Just want a little bitty guy over here. I think I put almost too much already, but that's okay. I'm gonna blow it right off. side so it's blowing I'm blowing it out oh look at that pretty all right not unhappy I just want to kill some of this here I just want these corners to be a little prettier Definitely getting something now. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the fourth corner just so the corners all match. The trick being to put all the cell activator on that side and blow towards the corner. I'm 
enjoying this. This is looking nice. So we're just going to add a few more little, a few more little guys. Don't be afraid to play. It's either going to look more like what you wanted, or you're going to scrape the whole thing anyway. in the results here. I have something I want. I'll stop. Just help push those out just a bit. Oh, now see, instead of that dull outside, it's got this pretty outside ring. So much more beautiful. Well, I think I can pretty much stop now. Oh yeah, now there you go. See, I can be happy with that. All right, let me clean this up and I'll bring you down to take a look. Okay, I've cleaned up the edges on this beauty. I'm going to take you in for some close look at these little guys that I added. I am so happy I made the decision to not just leave that ugly mess around the outer edges because these all came out fabulous. And then that center is so pretty, so much color, so bright. Oh, so happy. All right, I'll take some pictures once it dries, but I am happy with this one. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, here are the dried results on these three. So we're gonna start over here. This was the first one. It's got different colors. That turquoise blue that just sort of takes over. But this one helped me get the consistencies right. Got a little better at the blowing. Learned a lot with that one. Then I decided to change the color palette and I got out this teeny weeny little 4x4. Look how amazing that came out. I love the way the colors are outlining the white in this one. And when we went up to the big one, since that was so beautiful, look at how this one just pops. That outlining, that the neon pink and the gold did on the white is just fabulous. And I'm so glad I added all of these little blooms around the outside where the aqua really just took over and just made it so bright as an outline around that centerpiece. I am just so happy with how these pieces turned out. And I'm so glad that you've joined me on my journey on learning the bloom technique and are finally getting to see some really successful pieces. I hope you enjoyed watching and I thank you. Have a wonderful day.